October 2019 Battle Box Mission 56. Let's check it out. Hey guys, Matt here, Common Family Survival. Hope you're having a great day. We got Battle Box. It's, uh, I do believe, Mission 56. And, uh, pretty freaking big box, heavy box. I've already kind of peeked at the content, so I had a rough idea of what we got here and everything. And we got our card. And, uh, let's tear into it. A few items in here. Um, Overall, like I said, I watched a spoiler video and I've peeked in the box, so I kind of have a rough idea what I'm getting. And uh, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and tear into it. Okay, so the basic, they're saying it's a $60.92 $60 value. And uh, we'll start off with what's on the very bottom. Like I said, I peeked in it. I didn't open them up or really check out too much, so... This is the first, so it's a Hellfire Bushcraft stainless steel grill set, and they're saying this is a $19.99 value. So, let's get her open up here. Right out of the chute, I'm liking the feel, feel of it. You have a canvas case, a little snap button, and, yeah got two of them exact same grill set and uh yeah they're saying it's stainless steel they look pretty good they don't look too bad um i've had steel i i've had i got other grills um like you know sets like this from other manufacturers i'm not familiar with the hellfire bushcraft real or the hellfire brand i guess you could say um twenty dollars actually is a pretty decent price for you know you got i don't want to say that's wax canvas it feels like there's some kind of treatment on treatment on it so it's not just a regular canvas but usually you got to buy the grill and then buy the this separate or it comes into um you know like a package or whatever but twenty dollars actually ain't a bad price for that only thing i'm a little curious about is that inner mesh in there it's i can't tell it's not welded together so i don't know how how durable it's going to be you know with heat is it going to warp you know i'm kind of curious about that is you know because i've had cheap ones and i've had expensive ones and the cheap ones want to bend and warp and get all funky on you so i mean not a bad item they feel good they you know it's something i have to check out so that's to be determined i guess you could say but yeah 20 bucks yeah i can honestly see that yeah it's a it seems decent so i can't really say too much and then next up we have Camp Cooking Book, $12.95 value or cost on it. And actually, they're saying $12.95 on the book itself, price-wise, it's saying US $14.99, Canadian $19.99. So, I guess you could say that is a value because if you went to the regular store and bought this, yeah, not bad. I didn't even thumb through it but they're saying they got all kinds of tidbits in here on survival uh, different recipes all kinds of different ways of cooking and everything else there's a lot of different knowledge in here and oh it's got outdoor ovens open open fire fits wop telling you how to carry stuff utensils so i mean yeah not actually not a bad book i'm probably gonna sit down and read it so it's even got a section on water, sauces, freeze-dried camp food, GI food in camp. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty neat little book. I like books like that. So it can help you out if you're a newbie or don't really know what you're doing when it comes to out in the woods <laughs> cooking. So, all right, next up we have 
I want to say a novelty item. Uh, Grenade Soap Company, Claymore Soap, and this is the Napalm scent, I guess you could say. It's Olive Drab Grieve, fragrance that makes you want to punch today in the... Uh, 1% uh, chance of repelling liberals, liberal tears, moisturizing leaves you clay more clean, provided stainless steel, cable prevents drop, uh, dropping the soap from exploding on impact. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cheesy. Uh, yeah, there's some pretty foul language on that packaging. I don't really want to repeat that stuff. Uh, but yeah, you got your little stainless steel keychain I guess there will even go through no the hole is not even all the way opened up uh, let's try and get that on there but yeah it's just a it's a soap it's a gimmick soap it's in the shape of a claymore soap on a rope actually it's soap on a chain and it looks like a claymore I'm going to get you a better close-up of that. As far as the smell, it definitely don't smell like napalm. Um, there's no gasoline smell or, you know, to that. That's a very, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Fragrant, fragrant smell. I can't really say I like it. I don't know, but... Nine bucks for a bar of soap. I mean, yeah, I'll use it. I'll scrub my butt with it. <laughs> Would I go to a store and pamper myself with a $9 bar of soap? No, I wouldn't. It, it's one of them things. I, that's just a, a gimmicky one of those items. I just yeah. Nine bucks. Okay, that's probably what it is sold for is what it is all right next up we have a 511 hat and they're saying this is eighteen dollars and 99 cents and uh for a 19 dollar hat i'm calling no no it's a trucker's hat it's no this is a 511 hat and I didn't even pay $19 for it from 511 so uh, this is like a $7 cheapy hat it's got the you know bill on the back it's not very I mean I don't know not pleased with the, the hat I I hate the fact that that's even got the 511 logo on it. I mean, I, it, if I didn't know better, I would say that was a knockoff. It's, I'm not happy with that hat. Nine, no, no, that's not no $19 hat. So $6.92 value on the basic box. That's what they're saying. Um, I can see all that except for the hat, the hat and that. So I'm going to say that that's probably off at least 10 to $15. So, you know, honestly, in my opinion, that's about $50 value on the basic, which still you got more than what you paid for the box. So is what it is. Moving on. We got two items for the advanced and they're saying this is $104 and 86 cent value. Uh, we have the travelchair.com slacker tripod stool. And they're saying this is a $23.95 value. Now, I am familiar with these type of seats. I own a couple of them like this for that particular thing. And I, I'm actually, you know, there might be some people that say, you know, that they don't like this. But I've had the cheapy version of this stool. And this is made a lot better than those i mean you do have plastic on it. it's got plastic here plastic here you know but it is reinforced up on the seat as you can see the metal does feel a little bit sturdier 
it just it feels a lot better quality $23.95 seems expensive but like I said I've seen the cheaper version of this that was like maybe ten dollars and I can see where that extra money went into this one so the other ones are shorter I mean they're probably about that tall instead and that don't sound like much but really it does especially if you got bad knees that makes a difference it, it's not it weighs a couple pounds I mean it's not something that I would want to sacrifice in my kit and have this but for something to have in the back of your truck or you know to take down the creek if you're going fishing or whatever not a bad item so I mean that price is debatable like I said I have yeah it's one of them items so and then next up we have 4j thermoplastic repair ribbon and they're saying this is a $20 value and let's see it comes in a little metal carrying tin with see-through lid and uh you got your instructions and then you got kind of a i don't even know how many how many feet in this or not doesn't really say it does it they're saying this stuff's actually pretty cool i i really want to look more into it because they're saying this has got hundreds of uses and more or less all it is is it's it feels like a really thin plastic ribbon and that's all it is it's just you know plastic but it's that thermo what is it thermoplastic tape and it i guess I gotta look more into it but I do believe you either heat it up somehow which you can boil it and then it'll stick upon itself whenever it does sticks upon itself and it turns hard and it's strong and they're saying it can be even stronger than steel and uh, I know they did a quick clip where they made a chain pulled vehicles and it held up I mean, this stuff is actually seems pretty cool. It's super lightweight and it's a heck of a, I mean, it's kind of a neat little item to have in your kit. And you know, for first aid, there's some belting splits, cash in, forearm and wrist guards, custom fit shoe liner, chafe wrapping, uh, marine, it's got kayak, rowboats, sailboats, you know, improve, home improvement, Hangers for pipes, bolts, rivets, chain link replacement, outdoor chair and table leg pads, tool repair, pipe repair. I mean, yeah, right here's the direction. Heat ribbon to 140 degrees or harder to bend and mold, forge in desired shape. You can use hot water and hair dryer, a heat gun, a microwave, open flame, or solar magnification. So you can heat it any way. It's just got to get to 140 degrees. Then you shape it. Once forged becomes clear, the resin is hot enough to be shaped and adhere to itself from a bond. As it cools and solidifies, it returns to white. Let your creation set for a few minutes. Once cooled, the light wet material molecularly fuses to itself for a bond as strong as steel. In step four, you can reheat and repeat. If adjustments or additions are desired, simply reheat forge. Forge can be reheated and reformed several times if needed. So that's neat. I didn't know that. So that's a really neat neat product i mean i like that i've never heard of this stuff it sounds pretty cool so i'm gonna have to check more into it but that i'm really liking that that's cool and so that wraps up the advanced and they're saying basic advanced that's 104 dollars 86 value and like i said minus that we'll just say not ten dollars off that so you get might as well say 95 dollar value all together and next up we got one item in the pro box and the warheart warthog v-sharp classic 2 knife sharpener now this one i was excited about i got it out you know they're saying this is an 85 dollar value 84.99 cent value 85 dollar value I got it out. I played with it. I absolutely love this thing. I really, really do like this. This is something I am going to use a lot. Never seen one, and I was quite happy with it. But more or less, you have two different grip sizes that you can change on both sides. 
and uh, you got your adjuster for your knife here it is spring loaded and it is a super fast easy convenient way to sharpen your knives I mean you set the adjustment you got your grips on here and you just pass it down through and as you slide it down you pull out like I said it's not using my finger that well but things freaking awesome I mean nice little grab right here it gets both sides perfectly I mean of course if you got a serrated knife it ain't gonna work worth the crap but uh yeah this thing does work very very well uh, I this is probably one of my favorite things I've gotten in a box in a, in a while I know everybody's kind of like well oh. no I've gotten a lot of sharpeners and it can be a pain in the butt you got to have the angle right and then you, some of them's got cradles where you're just a pain in the butt to set up or to try and you know really get figured on there right this thing is about the easiest simplest thing that does a excellent job at really honing your blade down and they even have other uh grits you can get that's uh where you take it to the next level of diamond you know and that's freaking awesome too i will definitely probably get the, the diamond rods for this and uh not only that you can adjust the angle of your blade too with these different adjustments you got your super fine your medium and then your you know i don't you know what the angles is it yeah it's got 30 25 i'm assuming probably like 20 degrees so yeah not bad love it i actually really really do like that and that wraps up the pro box and they're saying total value of basic advanced pro 189 dollars and 85 cent value minus that ten dollars for the hat so we'll say 179 so i can see it it definitely shows yes i absolutely do agree it that seems like pretty fair i mean yeah yeah i i and uh like i said the only thing i didn't get is the pro plus which is knife of the month and they're saying that's a wilson tactical despo knife in black titanium powder coated finish g10 g10 scales os 8 steel designed by michael willem willemson and they're saying that knife is a 124 dollar and 95 cents so that's what it's worth so so chair yeah not a bad item i can see it being used um hat sucks hat sucks i'm really not happy with the hat so yeah it's kind of a pamper item like i said mm -hmm. love this love this this yet to be determined so it seems nice seems decent we shall see so what do you guys think i'm curious you know I, I, not a bad box not a bad box at all i could yeah all right guys comment below what do you think like don't like am am i being harsh about the soap i mean you know yeah is it adventure is it delivered monthly a survival and tactical gear i mean it's yeah it's a claymore so it's soap <laughs> it's soap <laughs> i don't know what else to say you know all right let me know comment below uh hit me up and don't forget guys uh i want your questions hit me up on uh, matt at common family uh send me email there if you got any questions comments anything uh uh already got quite a few of your guys's uh questions and uh really appreciate it and yeah this month we'll probably closer to the end of the month we'll have an episode where we're gonna viewer question and answer so look forward to that all right guys that's it if you're not a subscriber subscribe and like always comment below let me know what you think like this video and we'll catch you later see ya